in the first round eliminations of season 75 of your UAAP. Let's uh, first meet the starting five of your Dallasal Green Archers. At guard number 12, L.A. Rivilla. The other guard number 9, Jet Mangera. At center number 6, Norbert Torres. At forward number 21, Sharon Tang. And the other forward number 20, Eugene Andrada. Their head coach is G. Abanilla. Here now is the starting lineup of your Ateneo Blue Eagles. At guard number 5, Wami Chongson. The other guard number 15, Keeper Ravenna. At center number 20, Greg Slaughter. At forward number 8, Nico Salva. And other forward number 7, Dodino Gonzaga. You're at the Mall of Asia Arena, right in the heart of Pasay City for game number two of your Saturday doubleheader. Our Haynes starting five, Haynes, America's leading underwear brand, Ateneo versus LaSalle, LaSalle versus Ateneo, round one for season 75 of the UAB. Again, broadcasting in high definition on Balls HD channel 167, live on Studio 23 and all over the world through the Filipino channel. It will be Jed Mangera who gets the call against Kiefer Ravenna. He got the elbow from RR Garcia. He's supposed to be operated on, on Monday for that fracture of the uh, septum of his nose. Ouch. But he's, he's gonna, gonna have to play, play with a mask. With a face mask and he says he's good to go. He couldn't breathe that well mm -hmm. after the injury last time but during the practices and today he said he's ready to go as long as he has that mask. And this and it, kid with the ball as well didn't play last game. Yep, did and not play. Villa. Been dealing with ankle issues since the offseason, TJ, and it's still bothering him. And one of the reasons why they really didn't want to play him and might not be the last time, TJ, that we're not going to see him in a full game mm -hmm. is that the coaching staff is also looking at his career long term. Long they don't want to damage that ankle. Every now and then there's a little bit of swelling in that ankle, which has been an issue in the offseason. He's up against Wami Chongson. Slaughter against Torres. Matchup we've been talking about. A quick double team oh, no. sent by Coach Gia Vanilla by Andrada. Also a quick foul. Your foods, perfect combination. Here we send the juicy chicken cheese, hot dog. He was 15 feet away from the basket. Torres had some pretty decent position on him where that slaughter could not just easily dribble by him or back him down. Chong Son. First attempt. Comes up empty. A minute gone by. And the first quarter. Basal in white. Predominant white and green. Blue, uh, Ateneo rather. Predominant blue and white. Reset of the shot clock. Torres, two hours before the game earlier, practicing on free throws in the mid-range jumper from quarter court and the short corner as uh, their conditioning coach, John Aquino, was concentrating on that earlier. Let's go for a Samson courtside update with Selena Dagdag. Selena? Well, tomorrow is a big day, so get sleep, eat right, and save your dates for another day. These were the exact words of Coach Norman Black in yesterday's practice as he preps the boys up for today's matchup. And indeed, it is a big day and the rivalry has already begun. Coach Norman Black tells me that the De La Salle Green Archers is a motion offense team and that the greatest challenge lies in how we are going to attack them. He wants the boys to keep Mangera off Keeper Ravenna and he wants Andrada to keep off Salva. Hopefully, by the end of the ninth game, they would be able to defend the all very well as well. Back to you, Boom and TJ. Thank you very much, Selena, for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 courtside update. Life just got better. Turnover, the number one fast-breaking team this year and last year. Ateneo de Manila University, that's what they want to do. They're averaging 19 points so far in three games, TJ. That's a pretty big number, of course. Fueled by their good defense with that last steal as well. Check in with Billy Capistrano for a Samson courtside update. The archers are definitely excited to face off with their arch rivals today. Practices have been upbeat and the boys are more than ready to show Ateneo what they've got up their sleeve. Now according to coach G. Abanilia, for today's game, the boys need to neutralize Ateneo's running game as well as their post presence. If they succeed in doing this, then they will have a better chance of winning. The boys need to step it up, they need to work together, and they all have to be on the same page. Walang maiiwan at walang maiiwan. Thank you, Billy, for a Samson Courtside update. Brought to you by Samson Galaxy.
Boxy Tattoo, life just got better. Jeff Vanguera, when I talked to him prior to the game, TJ, was shooting threes all throughout. The pass coming from Luigi De La Paz, and that side where he was knocking him down earlier in practice gives them a 5-4 to four lead. And more than that, that's the second assist already of Eddie Revilla. You can see his mindset of setting the tone. He has not even looked for his own shot. He ran the pick and roll for the first play, got a good mid-range jump for Torres. This time around, a difficult skip pass cross-court to the open Manguera. So you're liking the vision of Revilla if you're LaSalle. Revilla averaging 4.5 assists in two games as he missed the last one. Clear men, deep cleanse with activated carbon, deep cleanse, 4 0 dandruff, clear men, high performance drive. 6.41 to play. 6 to 5 is the score. Salva, Chongson, and Ravenna have scored for the guys in blue. Inside to Ravenna. I am a tip in by Nico Salva. It's been the activity of Nico Salva so far that's gotten him his points. The last play that he scored. It was Slaughter who was double teamed and Salva moved well without the ball. They're gonna give Adrada that shot any day, talking about Ateneo. And here come the guys in blue again. Salva against Revilla. Great defense by Revilla. Bad pass by Salva, recovered by Chonzo. Tonino Gonzaga for three. Dang, tips it to an Ateneo. Had the right thing in mind, but a little too strong since he just wanted to tap it a little bit ahead to any Revilla. The screen provided. Ravenna trying to tempt Jaron Teng. Salva with 10 to shoot. Inside to Slaughter. Slaughter double team. Tough shot. And the rebound finally recovered and retrieved by Jaron Teng. You know, LaSalle wants to limit the toxic Greg Slaughter. And Brad is going to be key in playing help defense. Whether it's a double team or a complete collapse on the help defensive side, and has got to play it smart defensively today. Teng for three. Short. The tap. Up with LaSalle, fresh shot clock. And then Le Revilla, play number two. Ateneo trying to anticipate that play already. Revilla navigating, faking, then wild pass. Salva trying to start a break, three on four. Gonzaga, Euro step, no. Salva off the glass, short. And a good looking play there for Ateneo. Well, good job by LaSalle to get back in transition defense there. It was a three-on-three -three fast break. It's not like Palamang, the numbers Ateneo. LaSalle coming off a defeat from FEU. Ateneo coming off a romp against National University. Both of them are two and one in the team standings, as we mentioned. As Kwame Chongson is called for a foul at the 440 mark. Eight to five, it's a score. Kit Kat break, muna tayo. Get ready for what's next. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Look at an ultra fast play from New Tattoo You Stick. Live without limits. Back to live action here. Revilla finding Manguera from the other side. No. Manguera known as a shooter, even in high school. But uh, his primary role here in seniors this year has been to cover guys like Keeper, RR Garcia. We'll see him on Bobby Ray Parks for sure. Well, he's got the quickness, he's got the length as well, as a big guard. An offensive rebound early here for Ateneo at the four-minute mark. Double team right away on Slaughter, a, but a foul given up. Yeah, yeah. That's the second time, huh? Second time that there's double team. Walang patutunguhan si Slaughter, and yet they use this foul again on Slaughter. So this one's on Andrada this time. Earlier it was on Torres. There's a great three from Great Taste. Three and one. Mangera knocking it down. I don't know if it's a double team. You're not there to get the steal. You just wanted to give up the ball and make him do a difficult pass. Don't have to keep swiping yes. at the ball. And offensive rebounds on your screen. Na mga Ateneo, apat sa dalawa ng lasal. Mangera will try again. Short on his third attempt. And look at the crisp passing of Ateneo. Tonino, na na problema ng bahagya. Oh, wow. and a great... Put it back by the Phenom on their fifth offensive rebound. As you look at a KFC so good stats, KFC cheese top burger, KFC so good. And that was Ravenna versus Teng on a jumping competition for the rebound. Teng didn't box him out, but look at that leaping ability of Ravenna to get that tip in. DJ, six second chance points. Already for the Leo. That's six, six out of the ten. Teng, Pahirapan. 
And it is Gonzaga with a rebound. Chong Sun. Out to Slaughter. Slaughter from 15. Short. So both last shots are two prime players that are going to get a shot off. Earlier, Tang has been frustrated, hasn't gotten a look. And then Slaughter this time, his first open shot, he took an early one. It's a secondary break, you know? Mm -hmm. A foul drawn by Yutian Andrada. As Mark Anthony Talio and other Tampos will come back after our Kit Kat break. Get ready for what's next. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. 4 to 33. But in this game, Ateneo ahead by 5. Now 4, 10 to 5. Free throws were a problem. Mm -hmm. Everybody took 50 free throws before practice ended yesterday. They did it by sets 10, 10, 10. I don't know. But they took 50 free throws each. Well, that's the only way, really, to get over it. You know, just keep shooting, keep shooting. And, it, and there are some teams, actually, that even try to mimic the pressure. You know, they make players close their eyes. They say, imagine a jam pack on. a psychological factor in it. And then open your eyes and shoot your free throws. Here's a Yakisobra move brought to you by Nisim Yakisobra. Yakisobra and Salam talking about free throws. And I was talking to Luigi De La Paz, who did not play in that last game, by the way. But I told him, Pare, last year, last na kayo, it's a free throw shooting. Mm -hmm. So this is not new. Yep. And he Been said, a problem. Yeah, he said it's it's really mental because, again, in practice, they're, they're, they're good. They said they're yep. good. So they think it's really mental why they're struggling on the floor when the game goes on already. Or you mean some may halong pagod ng actual game. Iba yung pagod ng actual game. And when you shoot free throws when you're rested, during practice or after practice, you know that you know, if you're not running up and down the court as well. A lot of factors involved. But at the end of the day, I agree. It's all really yeah. mental. Let's just make the point though that you, you mentioned about 6 of 16 sila. As you look at Tanino Gonzaga on your screens. 6 of 16 sila in that last game. But all of those 10 misses came in the first half actually, TJ. They were perfect in the second half. Mm -hmm. As you look at the number of jump shots taken now by Ateneo 1 to 10, which is uncharacteristic. Well, maybe because of the double team on TJ. Yep, it's on been Greg available, Slaughter. and yeah, they've had very little attempts inside because every time Greg has touched the ball, no matter how far he is, there's been a double team. Buenafe is inside, eluding Talio and drawing the foul from Manguera. It's his favorite situation in the game. Slow break. I can't always follow the fast break with Ryan Buenafe, but uses his court smarts, his ability to get the bump, hang in midair, and still get a decent shot off and get to the free throw line. Kita sa ating McDonald's instant replay. Overwhelm your senses with a new McDonald's big and tasty. Dial 86236 for Mac delivery. Greg Slaughter, as I mentioned earlier, one of the three players that provide double figures for Ateneo. He averages close to 27 minutes a game. But he's on the bench now, Justin Chua. On his last year is in the game for Ateneo. So is Jopet Mendoza and Papot Paredes. Very tall teams here, tall front yep. lines for, for these two teams. Deep, huh? deep. Yeah. They've got depth in terms of their size and length as well. Talio inside to Torres. Torres readjusts. Sorry, that's Paredes who readjusts. And a foul on an Atenean. So it's Tampos, Mendoza, Paredes, Talio, and Manguera who started, the lone starter left here in this LaSalle quintet on the floor as Amon Vosotros is getting ready to check in too. Well, Malamang is still there because Ravenna as well is still on the floor for post Roman Black. Turnover by Talio on an errant pass. He played very heavy minutes in that last game against FDU. Kita kita yung turnover, yung giveaway. Good some McDonald's instant replay over one of the senses with a new McDonald's big and tasty. Dial 86236 for Mac delivery. It is Buenafe against Mendoza. Buenafe steps back off to the right. And Arab with another offensive rebound takes it back. What happened in? And Mendoza finally gets a handle on that retrieval. Well, they got what they wanted. They got some good shots close to the basket. Even got another second chance opportunity. Vosotros taken away by Ravenna. Forget about it. Keep it Ravenna from behind too. Averaging a steal a game. Oh, nice cut. Set up job to Papot. Ang ganda no hapol ni Aram. Tumatakbo na naman ang Ateneo. It is Ravenna with a possession. What passing. 
Oh, but a great defensive stand there by Tampos. A, a minute to play. Lamang ng walo ang Ateneo. Talio forcing his way through. Tapos pa rin. Here comes Ravenna again. He has Elorde. Ravenna sweeps oh, his way to the move. hole. He's been doing that a lot this year. Yung inaakyat yep. ala James Dino Harden. Lang, uh -huh. James Harden oh, time. To try to draw the foul if there is. Correct. He sweeps it up. But ang key dun is you have a good grip of the ball with both hands. Yung hindi basta basta matatapek. At pag inampas yan, you try to draw the foul. Globe, Blackberry, my super plan, super steal of the game. It's a steal at plan 999. The Ateneo Faithfuls. Nakatayo na dito sa Ball of Asia Arena. Lasal with seven to shoot. Nowhere to go. And na uh, biyayaan ng foul itong si Oda Tampos. Uh, you look at the Saucony run to the basket. We know because we run. Nine fast break points for Ateneo. Wow. Zero for Lasal so far. Nine out of the 17, Boomin. You know, sometimes you can argue that fast break attempts can be prevented, especially if you're not turning the ball over. I mean, earlier we mentioned they had three early turnovers, but in some of these fast break attempts, they've been off misses. Yung long rebound, na miss lang, at binabato ka agad ng Ateneo. Yun yung mga ma mahirap masigmura minsan ng defensive coach. Ano ba? Nagmintis tayo, ang dami rin yung masyadong nag-attack ng offensive rebound. Tuloy, walang bumababa sa depensa. 32.4 seconds remaining. 17-8 is the score. Elorde in the ballgame. Wami Chongson. Key for Ravenna against Talio. Ravenna steps out of that. Ravenna with 10 to shoot and a foul underneath by Ponch. But Ladera is in the ballgame for the very first time against JP Erab. As Von Pesimal is getting ready to check in for his high school teammate. Key for Ravenna. And interestingly, even without Greg Slaughter on the floor, they're still running the same sets as as, as Coach Raman had mentioned. Considering the report, it's all about execution. They want to execute their sets, regardless of who the personality is in there. They trust each and every one, each and every player, their role, what they can do on the floor. And they've been given air on the ball at the post. Deep in thought, Coach Norman Black going for his 98th win. He's 97 and 26, wow. if I'm not mistaken. What a record, huh? Closing in on the century mark. As we are closing in to the end of this first quarter. Down to seven seconds. And again, careless pass. Tampos recovers. Wala. Tapik, mapupunta sa Ateneo. And a foul is called with five tenths of a second. That's going to be two free throws. What a, what an opportunity here for Ateneo. Sayang naman niya for Lasal that you missed na an inadvertent foul there by Jovic Mendoza. Ay mukhang hindi naman sinasadya. Masakit. And yeah, masakit. And you're going to give them free throws pa. McDonald's instant replay catching that one. Overwhelm your senses with the new McDonald's big and tasty. Dial 86236 for Mac delivery. Lasal is shooting 14% in the first quarter, and I'm only saying that just to go back to your pregame yep. conversation or your pregame point, PJ, about the, the struggles offensively. Well, you got to give credit as well to Ateneo's great defense here in the first quarter. Kasama nila doon yung hindi magandang outside shooting itong Lasal. Pero maaga pa to, marami pang pwedeng mangyari. Kahit na abante ng labing dalawa ang Ateneo. Jalabi Chef on the corner. Jalabi Chef, big burger goodness like no other. Kiefer Ravenna on the run. Very hard to stop. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the Ball of Asia Arena after these. We're back here for the start of the second quarter here at the Ball of Asia Arena for Ateneo versus Lasal. Lasal versus Ateneo, round number one. On this Saturday afternoon, TJ, as I said at the end of the first quarter, 14% shooting para sa Lasal. Ano nangyari? Anong nagpahirap sa kanila? Well, Ateneo's really been clamping down their defense internally. Things like oh. that, blocking shots, challenging easy shots, supposedly inside the paint, and they have forced Lasal to take it out further out. So talagang nahihirapan ng Lasal to get the easy baskets, to get a good rhythm. KFC so good stats is what you saw earlier. KFC cheese top burger. KFC so good. Ateneo, by the way, with that first turnover of the game earlier, that was their very first of the game. So in contrast for Ateneo, 
They're the ones executing well, making the good extra passes, and they are finding some good shots under the basket as well. Vosotros for three. What happened in? Perimeter points. And a problem. They are dead last this season so far. Talking about Masala as we look at the Rizzona Vince shot block by Erop. Rizzona Vince with 50% more lasting protection. Spray on the confidence and perfect combination. New food stem with juicy chicken cheese hot dog. A minute gone by in the second quarter. Vosotros, Mendoza, De La Paz, who finally comes in. Well, that's the last game, DJ. Yep. And then they get last Norbert. Game. Remember, they were 0 for 6 from oh, be 0 for 7, 7 yeah. from beyond the arc. So they haven't hit a three-pointer in the last 50 minutes Manguera. of basketball. Manguera, ah, kanina na katres, correct. Isa pa lang. Torres, that's what he was practicing earlier. Overshoots that one. Wow, what stingy defense being played here by Ateneo. L.A. Revilla set to come back in. Torres with the pick, a soft screen. Torres underneath, trapped again. Wow. Another takeaway by the guys in blue as you look at the Haynes on the floor. Haynes, America's leading underwear brand. Second third over for Ateneo. Great anticipation by Vosotros. Teng spins, stops, puts it up and gets it in. And that's one matchup that you see on the floor that Coach G maybe should consider taking advantage of. Jeron Teng is being guarded by Ryan Buenepe, who is not the best defender on the Ateneo side. Let's check in with Billy Capistrano for a Samsung courtside update. Billy! Coach, Coach G wants the boys to do one very important thing. Trust one another. They need to start playing as a team and they need to start helping each other out. Coach G also instructed the boys to maintain good defense and to get those rebounds. Because that's just the kulang. Coach is not pleased with how the boys are playing, so they really need to bounce back. Boom! Thank you very much, Billy and Samson. Courtside update brought to you by Samson Galaxy Tab 2. Life just got better. Look at that defense. Chua and Eram clamping down on Torres. Six minutes. Yung uh, Aguat. Yung Pagita nung tira ng yung field goal. Kanina ng Lasal hanggang dun sa field goal. Yung Lasal hanggang dun More than six minutes. Well, not until Lasal gets a good rhythm outside. They're going to have a tough time forcing Ateneo to spread out that defense. Ang bilis din na mag-collapse sa loob earlier when you saw Torres again double team. But this was that tough shot you talked about, Boo. In transition, Jeron Tang said, just enough is enough. I got to find a way to score. Yaki Sobrang Boo, brought to you by Nisin Yaki Sobra. Yaki Sobrang Sarap. Still a score, no matter what. Exactly. <laughs> a born scorer is a score. They have that natural instinct to find a way to the basket. Chua with the PS Bank Mahasan assist to Santulo Blanc. They caught Chicana with PS Bank on the loan with Prime Remake. Twenty-five, ten. And we have a Kit Kat break. Get ready for what's next. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Dito lang po kayo sa Studio 23. Kapabinya. Uh, and he is a crowd, Jared Anderson, who is a basketball nut himself. Yes, we know that. He loves to play ball as well. 26-10 is our score. Under seven minutes to play here in the first half. So far, Boo, we've seen almost 15 minutes of defensive dominance from Ateneo. As you look at Yung Magama, former oh. president Joseph Estrada and Senator hey. Jigo Estrada. Part of the crowd. Here at the Mall of Asia Arena, we'll give you the numbers in a bit. In the meantime, let's check in with Selena Vegdan from the Ateneo side. Well, Boom, CJ, Coach Roman Black is noticing how the Green Archer boys are doubling up against Greg Slaughter. So he tailors their game plan according to this move. Coach Roman Black also wants the boys to capitalize on how the Green Archers are defending them. Defense-wise, he wants the boys to improve on their pick and rolls. He also wants to see the execution of more box outs and more rebounds. Back to you, Boom, CJ. Thank you very much, Selena, from the Samson Courtside Update, brought to you by Samson Galaxy Tab 2 Life. Just got better. Well, we all know Coach Norman Black is a man of adjustment. As Revilla says, Ako na nga lang, ang maglilaya. Kalina, ang ganda ng pasa niya kay Andrada, libre-libre. Pero si Andrada knew that Greg Slaughter was yep. two steps behind him, and if a seven-footer is two steps behind you, you will still worry. And he should know. He, he likes blocking yeah, exactly. from behind, too. And L.A. Revilla takes it all the way. 
And you look at the numbers of the layups and tip-ins as Craig Slaughter had another layup for Ateneo there. there. With his fourth point, the lead is 14. Nine for 15 now layups for Ateneo. Right at the basket, and Greg Slaughter finally getting his first two points of the ball game. Up. Oh, nice move by De La Paz. Just could not finish. And he draws the foul there. Let's look at this. L.A. Revilla, sabi ni L.A. Mag-screen ka na lang muna para sa akin. Merrill, get away move. Merrill, get away to adventure. When I asked him about his ankle earlier during the shoot-around, answer, his answer was, so-so. Clearman high performance drive. Clearman deep cleanse with activated carbon. Deep cleanse for zero dandruff. You know those players, DJ, when we talk to them, they don't want to dwell on the negatives. They don't uh -huh. want to dwell on injuries. And obviously, I don't want to dwell on it too when we have conversations with them. So sometimes I just, you know, randomly ask, so, and that's his, that's his answer. That's his answer. So, 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 so. Which you can take as not so good, not so bad. Glass half empty, glass <laughs> half full. Bahala ka na. How you want to take that? De La Paz himself has had a nagging shoulder injury since the offseason, and it continues on here. One of the reasons why he didn't play also in that last game. Interesting defensive adjustment here, boom, for LaSalle going a 2 3 zone. As you mentioned earlier, Salina mentioned Norman. Coach Norman noticing the quick double team on Greg, so they're adjusting offensively. Yep. Now, this is what USC did well against to beat Ateneo. Ah. They zoned them 2-3. They collapsed quickly on Greg. Let's see if this will work for LaSalle. And you did that game, so you saw yep. that a lot. Five on the shot clock. De La Paz with three to shoot. De La Paz will go to the line for two free throws. A foul will be called on Nico Salva, if I'm not mistaken. Our Silverworks Sportsite Charmer is Silverworks is, uh, sorry, Carla Aguas. Adds personality to her unique fashion sense. Silverworks live to play. Under five to play as De La Paz knocks in both free throws. Down to 10, biggest lead of the game was at 16, 26 to 10. So Van Opstal's in the game right now. Looks like another defensive adjustment. LaSalle going back to a man-to-man -man defense now. LaSalle doing better in the free throw line so far. Seven out of eight today. Eight out of 10 para sa Ateneo. And Van Opstal and Greg, a little uh, chat. It's rare that you can make Van Opsa look small. <laughs> he is 6'8". Here's that McDonald's instant replay foul. Overrun the senses with the new McDonald's big and tasty dial. 8 6 2 3 6 for Mac delivery. That's a turnover. A bad inbound play there. So far, a rare loss of focus there for Atenea. The lead is down to 10. Yes, all doing their bit to chop down on this deep one possession at a time. Dang comes out. So Malino gets the man assigned to him. He is completely recovered from his ACL injury. So Malino with the tap. It ends up with Van Opstel. And another tap again by Somalino Gumabul pa kay Andrada. Another turnover, another giveaway. Shadow Malakas. LA Revilla pushes the ball to himself. Revilla draws the foul. Gets it up and in. Now the LaSalle defense move has woken up. They are sparking opportunities for themselves now offensively. That is the sixth turnover of Ateneo all in the quarter as we look at an ultra-fast play from the new tattoo. You stick live without limits. Kit Kat break. Get ready for what's next. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. We have free throws when we come back. L.A. Revilla's reaction to the possible three-point play opportunity that he's going to get. Swish good vibes, swish good vibes, switch to swish. Alcohol free mouthwash. It's all good. Revilla three out of three in this game. Six points, four assists, one steal. He misses the free throw, but what has been the run already, TJ? Ten to two run, and it's been a quiet one possession at a time. Ten to two run. Hindi yung mga tipong it's really one stop, one make. One stop, one make. That's what uh, La Salle has done so far. It is only this last steal that converted to a fast break immediately. 
that was able to look exciting in that sense and, and made us even notice that it's now an 11-2 run. Free throw given, seven points for Revilla, down to single digits at 7 28 21. Six turnovers for Ateneo, lahat po dito sa second quarter. Inside, slaughter, double team. Sumalinog with four to shoot and another foul oh, wow. by a big those, man. Those are some useless acts that the bigs of La Salle are doing. But up, so, you know, they, they have this thing called the swim move when they're batting for position and with their arms. So Hey, that's Derek, the internet star who sang Anna Banana. Strongest connections are at home and the mom, of course, is we're, uh, here with us, part of the crowd that we have. A PLDT my DSL family ties the strongest connections are at home it's good to see them enjoy this game between Ateneo LaSalle and enjoy what that play in a circus shot from keeper Ravenna who so far is the first player who gets into double figures for either team and those are not easy 10 points he has had to grind it out and find a way to get a look Dang to Revilla tries a three gets it to go Lady Villa has been a big factor in this run by La Salle, whether it's just controlling the tempo, making the good passes, or taking the shot as well. I think he's had like seven or eight points in this run. Imagine that's, you know, the question about what did they miss against FEU when he did not play? Yeah. This is what they're missing. Nothing bad, guys. And you gotta, you gotta, it's not just the court general that he is. He's posting big numbers for for uh, La Salle. When you talk about LA Revilla, that's 13 points, 8.5 rebounds, and almost six assists, TJ. You know, I was looking at the big board here at the LED. Yep, they were yep. showing uh, the before the game rebounding averages for the league. Eight points. I couldn't believe I saw Revilla at 8.5. 8.5. Imagine that. Mas mataas pang rebounding niya. This is a big assist. Yeah, assist. Yeah, assist. Yeah, exactly. De La Paz. No foul called. There will be, though, on the rebound scramble, and it might be on that obstacle. Let's look at this circus shot. The keeper of the Oh, wow, moment talaga. I wish he, oh, wow, open up to everyday surprises. Here's another great three, for great taste three and one from L.A. Revilla, who is four out of six from the field with those four assists. 10 points na si Revilla, 10 points na si Ravenna. Sila po ang nagtutuos dito sa laro. Lead is 6 for Ateneo. Salva against Andrada. Salva turns back. Nice fake. Ganda no habol ni Andrada. What a smart move. Pero merong yep. nakakama ang kamay. Well, may, you may not have faked him off enough to completely jump, but you got him off balance enough to get a good look. Rexona men, shot block. Rexona men with 50% more lasting protection. Spray on the confidence. This from the free throw line for Ateneo. Nico Salva with four points so far today, but he's going to be a, an interesting guy to watch out for, considering that every time that Slaughter touches the ball, it's his man who goes to double team and leaves him behind. So when and how Nico Salva will cut to get that ball will be critical for Ateneo's offense. Revilla finds Andrada, who finds the pass for another three. No! Van Opsal with an offensive rebound. Oh, big. Slaughter did not box him out. He just was content. He said, I have decent position. I'm inside. Pero hindi niya kinatawan. Not even an arm on Van Opsal, who just scooted around him in the baseline and jumped before him. Yes, Bank. Strong power move. Isang tulog lang. May coach it out with PS Bank Autolone with prime rebate. Tabla rin tayo sa offensive rebounds, TJ. That was the 10th offensive rebound. Or La Salle. So even if you are seven feet, yes, you still need to box out. You gotta do the basics. The lead is five, and this is where La Salle wants to be. Slaughter out to Salva. Salva to Ravenna. Inside to Slaughter again for the repost. Tapos. And a minute and 24 to play. Slaughter and the whole bench of Ateneo begging for a foul on that pass attempt. Revilla out to De La Paz. Oh, stepping. Tablan tayo sa offensive rebound, pero pito yung dito sa second quarter para sa Lasal. Three 
for Ateneo. So that's that's a difference there. A minute for 14 to play. Jet Manguera is back in the game. Small lineup here for La Salle with Manguera, Revilla, and De La Paz. And is playing power forward. Yep. Matched up against Nico Salva. Buenafes shakes off the play. He wants it on all his own. Salva rotates to Elorde. They rotate it back to Kiefer Avena for three. Hola. And De La Paz. Al Nahulian. And Nakakapit to the dismay of the La Salle crowd here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Referees Francisco Olivar, Gerard Garcia, and Salvador Cortez Jr. Coach Giovanni animatedly explaining what he thought he saw De La Paz do was just to simply box out. You are allowed to use your hands to a certain extent. Pero hindi yung sobra sobrang ihuhuk mo na that you can hook the guy behind you. That's where the gray area comes in, the discretion of the refs. How much arms do they allow to be used in a box out situation? Under a minute to play. First half. And the lead is back to seven. The biggest lead of the game was 16. Para po sa Ateneo. Manguera goes to his right. Oh, nowhere. Nobody home on that pass. Natulas eh. Nung tumalun siya when he wanted to pass. Natulas ka kay Dibola. And he tried to recover in Mireya. At nawala na yun. So it is Elorte, Ravenna, Buena Fe, Salva, and Slaughter. With 15 on the shot clock of the guys in blue. Slaughter against Van Opsal. Na libre si Ravenna. Ravenna has Manguera. All crossover move. Ravenna. Up and up. What happened? Everything but the shot for the Phenom. Bang. Revilla from the corner. The fake. Moves closer. Wala. Slaughter with a rebound with 12 to shoot. Elorte says, I'm going to go old. Salva kicks it out to Ravenna with six. Ravenna inside. Slaughter. Oh, what a sequence. Oh, man. How wild is that? What a sequence. And they still got the shot to go in at the buzzer. Boy. Luck on the side of Ateneo on that play as they lead by nine. Salva, iniangat na lang. And when you have a seven-footer to clean up the glass, Life is good for Ateneo, and it is considered a master winning move. Control oil up to eight hours, get that winning advantage from master. The lead was at 16, and then L.A. Revilla came alive in the second quarter. Revilla, with all of his 10 points in that second quarter, is our Jolly champ of the quarter. Big burger goodness like no other. First half is in the books for Ateneo Lasalle, round one. Back in a moment with our halftime here at the Mall of Asia Arena. As well, at game day with Boom. Pwede na rin siyang batiin ng birthday kasi <laughs> nag-birthday siya. Kahapon lang ba rin sa araw? Kahapon, kahapon. Happy birthday. Salamat. JB Castro in attendance. The guys in green. Epoch Kimpo, si Epoch Kimpo. Yep, that's Epoch Epo Kimpo. Epoch Kimpo is also with us here. At marami pa yan dyan. Sa sulok. Sulok-sulok nitong Mall of Asia Arena. Third quarter is underway. Ateneo ahead. 35-26. Great, great chase by La Salle in that second quarter. Pero stymied towards the end of the first half. First attempt by Slaughter. A short, another offensive rebound for the guys in blue. Salva. Nice, smart move. He knows he has the quickness advantage against Torres. A little ball fake to just get Torres off balance and quickly blew by, blew by him. Gets the step. Norbert Torres. Slaughter ahead of the pack against four white shirts. So we have Slaughter, Ravenna, Salva, Chongson, and Gonzaga. The same starting five for Ateneo. But it's a little different for La Salle as Van Opstel is with Torres. Gerard Deng, Manguera, and Revilla. Para sa Lazar. Manguera for three. He's missed his last three. He uh, lost Ravenna for a second there. But recovers just in time as we look at this blow by by Nico Salva. Clear men high performance drive. Clear men deep cleanse with activated carbon. Deep cleanse for zero dandruff. The beauty and the effectiveness of a simple ball thing. Not a, lot, not a lot of players utilize that in their game, but when you're in that triple threat position and you know when and how to use a good ball fake, it could do wonders for you or your teammates. 
Daughter steps back. And Slaughter again starts to run. Chongson over Torres. Salva tries to tip it in. Voila. Let's check in with Billy Capistrano from the DLSU side. Looks like that one game absence made LA Revilla want this game more. The team captain told his teammates that if you want to take that shot, then you got to take it with confidence. Now Coach G wants the boys to wake up and to keep on fighting. He reminded them that they are not playing for themselves, but for the institution that they represent. Boom. Thank you very much, Billy. Samsung Courtside Update brought to you by Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. Life just got better. Mahababa. So that speech of Coach Gia Banilla. Let's see if it wakes up the LaSalle team. A Salva overshoots that one. Torres tracking it down. Deng against Ravenna. Deng barrels his way through, draws the foul. Just like his brother, using his body to carve some space and draw the contact and get to the free throw line. McDonald's is a replay over one. Your senses to the new McDonald's big and tasty dilate. 6 2 3 6 for back delivery. Had a nice chat with Alvin Deng, the father, of course, prior to the season starting. And he said, I asked him about the coaching, I asked him about the new teammates, and you know what he says, actually, what he liked? He says, it's the support of the, the alumni. Mm -hmm. um, there's a renewed vigor uh, in the LaSalle side. You know, as Boston Ding is behind yep. all the games, even in the preseason games, and, and the players on the bench. definitely <laughs> appreciate it. Yep. Gusto ni Jeron and the rest of the crew from LaSalle. All right, balik muna tayo sa Ateneo. Kay Selena Dagdag naman tayo pumunta for a Samson courtside update. Well, Boom, TJ, at this point in the game, Coach Norman Black does not want the boys to come in to any off-court distractions as he encourages them to take good care of their ball possessions. He wants them to make sure passes in order to minimize their turnovers. As the second period draws out, he encourages the boys to increase their intensity. The coaching staff believes that controlling the boards is the key to the win today. Back to you, Boom and DJ. Thank you very much. Samson Courtside Update brought to you by Samson Galaxy Tab 2. Life just got better. Back-to-back -back hits for LaSalle. Don't look now. Down to four. Uh, Selena saying that they have to control the boards, but now LaSalle muscling themselves inside too, DJ. And again, being led by the smart play of Eddie Rivilla. That nice, quick post-entry pass, recognizing that Torres had good deep position against Nico Salva earlier. Another foul call on Van Upsell as we look at this Yakisobra move. Brought to you by Nisei Yakisobra. Yakisobra, shut up. Tank. Can you ask him how he built the boys like tanks? They're just not well, afraid to give up their body? Here's the thing. When I had when I was chatting with mm -hmm. Alvin uh, Tang, the father, we were at the gym. So okay. he's still working out. <laughs> he's not playing anymore, okay. and he's still trying to take care of his body. So you can assume yep. that the kids have the same work ethic. Well, his nickname was Robocop yeah. with the pros, so you can imagine what kind of a physical specimen he was then and how his kids have turned out to be. It's a great career for Jarek so far as you look at Alvin Teng there. The PS Bank has an assist. Salo kay Nordo Torres, is an Tulo Plan. Big watching now with PS Bank on alone with Prime Rebate. How about Wami Chongson? Not a lot of people are talking about this kid mm -hmm. who has taken over the reins now for point guard chores. You know, look at the numbers of this kid 26 minutes, 7 points, almost 5 rebounds. A little over six assists Those are and solid numbers. did not commit a turnover until the third game wow. of the season. So for two games, he was zero, zero. turnovers oh, yeah. with six assists. Those are solid, steady yeah. numbers that are below the radar. You're under the radar, but you don't need to look at the stat sheet. But you can feel his presence on the floor, especially if you're you're Ravenna, you're Salva, you're Slaughter, you, be, you appreciate the steadiness of the floor. Ang baliktad naman si Alay Ravilla, parang pansin na pansin mo yung presence niya. Almost uh, another conversion by Ravilla there. Jongson stops from the elbow. Wala, naagaw pa sana ni Gonzaga. From Jeron Deng, action is picked up here in the third quarter. Labang na limang Ateneo as we go into a Kit Kat break. Get ready for what's next. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Asal versus Ateneo, Lamang po na lima. Ang Ateneo, 38 to 33. Pick provided by Torres. Gets the ball back, taken away, and then takes it back. Torres out to Revilla with 11 on the shot clock. Revilla gets the step all the way up and in. 12 points for L.A. Revilla. 
Breaking just now a 9-3 run move here in the third quarter. Another one of those quiet runs that happening one possession at a time. Papa Paredes loses Greg Slaughter in that play. Paredes and Torres, the front line. Monguera, Tank, and Revilla. Field goals so far in the quarter on your screen. Tank carving space for himself. Pinipilit na nila sa loba. Kanina kasi parang nakikita mo ilang na ilang pumasok ngayon. They're really going to try to get it up there as L.A. Revilla high off the glass. And then this one from Greg Slaughter. Enervon's total energy play of the game. Enner give, Enner guard, Enervon. Interesting early substitution by Coach Norman Black pulling out Nico Salva. And now he is acceding to the insistence of Lasal to play two big men at the same time. Ah. Baga, double twin, twin, twin towers, he can't no? Just Canina, they had Torres and Andrade, now it's Torres and Paredes. And you saw how Torres was seeding inside early and giving uh, Salva a tough time at the post. Yako Gonzalez, Chasey and Tal. Right here at Ball of Asia Arena. Two for two on that trip. Jeron Teng for seven points. The lead is down to three. Pull it. Magalang hapon. Thanks for watching us all over the world through the Filipino channel at Dito Pasa Studio 23 as Ravenna sets up Tonino Gonzaga for three. Wala. Norbert Torres with a rebound. Takbuhan. And Lady Villa goes to his left. Puts it up. And in. Oh, oh, oh. Just flowing right by his former teammate right there. Simple sidestep and Orde did not know what hit him. It was like a flash. What ankle <laughs> injury. I know. <laughs> and his adrenaline pumping through his veins right now. Too aggressive on the defensive end. Goes right, goes left. Off the left foot. Wow. Finishes with the right and a wishy. Oh wow, moment of the game. A wishy, oh wow. Open up to an everyday surprises. At nabuhayan po ang crowd dito. Salasal side as De La Paz comes in now. Slaughter against Paredes. Chua is in. Buena Fe thought about the three. Slaughter. Paredes stays with him. Oh, off the glass. What a tough, <laughs> tough shot. That's a Nico Salva kind of a twisting shot inside. Revilla against the Norte. Norte taunting Revilla to come on. Revilla finds the La Paz. Tang with 10 to shoot. This is the matchup we talked about earlier. Tang will shoot the three. Gets Bang. it to go! Concerned with the benefit for the speed of Tang. They did back up and give him five feet. If they give Tang five feet, he's going to hit that jumper. Kaplan ang putayo dito. 42 all. Elorte giving it up to Greg Slaughter. 12 on the shot clock. Nagkakagulo po ang obenso ng Ateneo ngayon. 7 on the shot clock. Niyakap itong si Papot Paredes with 7 seconds left. And with 7 seconds left. And with Slaughter still 15 feet away from the basket. Look at this. Buena Fe, too concerned about the speed and agility of Deng. Gives him too much room and Deng says, You can't not respect my 3-point shooting. It's in the family. <laughs> but that is his first of the season. 0 out of 4. Or 0, right, 1 out of 4. After that, but we know he can stroke it. Huh? Remember in the field all huh? flying the Ateneo LaSalle game, he put the game into overtime with a big three pointer. By the way, that was another great three from Great Taste. Three in one, 16 to 7 run this quarter. Para po sa LaSalle. Tabla tayo at 42. Kit Kat best break. Get ready for what's next. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. This is only our second tie of the ball game broken by Greg Slaughter. 44-42. Tomas Torres. Oh, um, he's a big um, um, Pagulat para kay Coach G. You can look at here now. We're trying to find a way to exploit Tank versus Buenafe giving him more of the ball now. Paredes underneath. Napitin yung tira ni De Paz. Tries again. In the one. bang in the pocket. Nabuhaya na to. What the energy of LaSalle right now. It's through the roof. Pass with a follow up and a PS Bank strong power move is on Tulu Blanc. Make one chicken out with PS Bank all alone with prime rebate. Nagging shoulder injury did not play. Coach's decision in that game against FEU. But so far here today, chipping in a few points for himself. Six points make that seven. And the lead shifts to DLSU 45 44. Our fourth. Lead change of the game. 
Now Ben has been quiet. Hand off to Elorte. Chua. A little further from the sweet spot as a foul is called on the LaSalle player, I believe. Yes. Like on Papot Paredes, another foul in a play where Slaughter does not even have the ball. They're just batting for position, boxing out. They're so concerned about his height and his length that they're trying to do their best to keep him away from the basket. I think we all need this Kit Kat break. Get ready for what's next. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. That foul called earlier on a McDonald's instant replay. Overwhelm your senses with a new McDonald's big and tasty. Dial 86236 for max delivery. Oh, his right arm over the right shoulder of Greg Slaughter. Slaughter now 13 points and ties the ball game. At 45 all, Coach Norman Black coaching his last year for Ateneo, looking for his 98th win as a coach here in the UAP. So the lead goes back to Ateneo and uh, some new faces. I mentioned Tomas Torres from the La Salle Green Hills program. And now Joshua Spiderweb for the very first time. Averaging 10 minutes for Coach G this year so far in three games. Both teams are two and one. Webb for three. Tap goes to the big man. Two thirty to play. One of two key things for LaSalle that has made this run successful for them. One, their patience, taking the one possession at a time, and the insistence of Twin Towers. Their size has worked for them. Uh, speaking of size, Justin Tua didn't mind Norbert Torres on him. Able to get that jump hook in. The lead back to three for the Blue Eagles. No LA to be there right now. This is what we want to see, how they're going to deal. Yeah. How they will keep that composure and remain with that momentum. Torres steps back again. Great contest by Slaughter. Great offensive rebound by Webb. The right place at the right time. The wing players of LaSalle earlier. It was De La Paz with a great cut. Now it's Webb with a good offensive rebound. Another foul call this time on Tomas Torres on the driving Nico Elorte. BPI Auto Loan. Awesome rebound. And again, that was a defensive lapse by Ryan Buenefe. He did not box out, not even look for his man, Joshua Webb. Earlier, he backed off too much and gave Jeron Teng a wide open three. Apply for a BPI family auto loan at bpiloans.com today. You see in the corner of your screens, Kinakausap Masha and Coach Norman Black. As you see, our bosses from ABS CBN, of course, Vice President for Sports, Peter Muski, and the big boss of ABS CBN, Sir Gabi Lopez. Courtside here at the Mall of Asia Arena. First time at La Salle. First of many in this historic rivalry. 48 for Ateneo, 47. Mas marami nang naistorang La Salle ngayon kesa dun sa laro nila against FDU. Oh, that's right. At nadagdagan pa, the Bear, Norbert Torres, able to get it up and in. Deposits the Twitter. Off the glass, off the bank, off the assist from Luigi De La Paz. Perfect combination, beer food, standard juicy, chicken cheese, hot dog. And then ngayon ang spacing boom. Itong La Salle. Remember, we mentioned in the first half, they're going to need some good outside shots to finally open up this defense of La Salle, of Ateneo, or find ways to really pull Slaughter out and make things easier inside. And, well, Slaughter, uh, you know, was... was uh, Mo Biden was moving on the pick and roll and they found Torres on some good two-man game execution. 48% from the field. Ang Lasal dito sa third quarter. 29 ang Ateneo so far. Three assists for both in the third as the Bear sits down. Norbert Torres for Jopet Mendoza. Lamang na naman po ang DLSU pang anim na po natin. Napalitan. Ang ganda naman ng ganaw. Ni Peter Ravenna. Kinaliwa pa. So balik. For Ravenna naman, the recognition na umupo na rin si Torres, the ah. intimidator in the paint for them. Fast break points, by the way. Lamang ang nasal dito ha, sa third quarter, 5-0. That is Ateneo's game, of course. Torres out to Mendoza. Mendoza with four to shoot. Wala. It backs out, backs out by Ateneo. Buena fe against Webb. El Orte gives it up to Ravenna. Ravenna. Guys, to get by, De La Paz ginulat niya, no? Si De La Paz, dun sa galaw na yun. So, a foul will be called on Luigi as Kiefer Avena 
with the extension on our yakisobra move. Brought to you by Nisi Yakisobra and Yakisobra. Set up. Ravenna with 12 points, six rebounds in the game. Interesting to see the intensity and aggressiveness of the perimeter players now, but then they had to attack. Now that they finally see a more normal lineup, <laughs> looking at them against the Sal, it's not the Twin Tower size anymore. You got Mendoza playing the power forward. Kaya naman, naibalik na rin Coach Norman si Salva. Earlier, he struggled to keep Salva in the game because it was either against Torres or Paredes or Andrade. Ang dalaki nila. Ravenna moves out. Lamy Chongson is back in. Two-point guard setup for Ateneo here, DJ, with... Johnson and Elorde. Paredes. Uy, kumat si Torres. Di nakita. Back to seven seconds on the shot clock. Torres sidesteps. Play blowing up in their faces. On the initial cut, hindi nakita si Torres. Libre na. And on that steal, all Elorde had to do was play the passing lane. He stood right there. And he was able to get that steal easily. Two second differential on the shot clock and game clock. And they go to Buenafe. Webb pounding Buenafe. Double team on Buenafe. Underneath. Oh, what a pass. T Torres looks up. And he will run out of time. Ateneo. With a three point lead after the lead shift from left to right here in this third quarter. Five lead changes alone in the third. Jollibee champ of the quarter is. Greg Slaughter, 14 points. Jollibee champ, big burger goodness like no other. We got an exciting wind up here. Ateneo versus LaSalle with Ateneo holding on to a three point lead. LA de Villa is back together with Luigi de la Paz, Joshua Webb, Norbert Torres, Mike Link Pahingalamang, Jopet Mendoza para sa LaSalle, who trail Ateneo by 3 53 50. Norbert Torres will be matched up against Greg Slaughter anew. Salva, Elorde, Buenafe, and Chongson for Ateneo as LaSalle has a second to shoot. Family would have counted if it went yeah, in. Got it off in time. Third quarter, your, your thoughts, TJ. Well, LaSalle did a good job of just being patient and attacking Ateneo one possession at a time. Playing much better defense, hustling better as well. And interestingly enough, they were the ones dictating the matchup. They were dictating who they want on the floor. And it was Ateneo who was reacting and having to put guys to match up against the South. Magdaga 34 points in the paint. Uh, KFC, so good stats. KFC, cheese top burger. KFC, so good after that Nico Salva connection. And is that an uh, offensive foul? Yes, it is. It's an offensive foul on Mendoza. Salva held his ground. Let's look at that play. Anticipating the steal by Revilla, Salva puts it up and in. McDonald's is a replay. Overwhelm your senses with a new McDonald's big and tasty dial 8, 6, 2, 3, 6 for Mac delivery. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Buenafe. Salva again with 6. Salva back to, to Slaughter. Slaughter, Johnson with a second. Voilà. Telapas. Gets the rebound as we send it over to Billy Capistrano for a Sam support side update. Hindi pa tapos ang laban. The archers are going to keep battling it out as they have definitely found their rhythm and tempo in the second half of this ball game. Coach G reminded the boys, reminded the boys, there's no excuse not to execute it properly. Now let me tell you, na buhay na buhay na talaga ang animo sa team na ito. Boom. Thank you very much, Billy. Sam support side update brought to you by Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. Life just got better. Malayo pa. Dami pa ang paglalaruan dito. Long way to go. 8.25 to go. And again, in that last play, LaSalle opting to attack the post-defense of Nico Salva. And that time around, Mendoza got a quick spin and a step ahead of Nico Salva and drawing that foul. Playing in his last year, who celebrated, by the way, his birthday, July 21, if I'm not mistaken, or 22. The chat with him earlier. We uh, greet Jopet Mendoza. Happy birthday. Belated. Revilla and Vosotros now on backcourt ng Lasal. Lamang ng apa ng Ateneo. Balik kay Mendoza. Mendoza gets Salva standing his ground. Joshua Webb comes up short. And it will be Ateneo ball. Elorte goes to the gut of that defense. No secondary break for Ateneo as we check in with Selena Dagdag from the Ateneo side. 
Well, Boom DJ, at this point of the game, Coach Norman Black wants the boys to execute a series of screens in order for them to increase their opportunities for field goal points. He tells the boys to double their assists and pass the ball around. Coach Norman Black does not want the boys getting their guard down, especially at this point of the game. In fact, versatility and intensity, both offensively and defensively, is not expected. It is demanded as they aim for a ruthless finish. Back to you, Boom and TJ. Thank you, Selena. Kaya lang nakatakas dun si L.A. Revilla. That uh, courtside update brought to you by Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. Life just got better. Revilla, 60 points in the game. Salva also heating up here in the fourth. The lead back to four with 7.16 remaining. Revilla. Vosotros throws up a three. That's short. Nobody getting the offensive rebound. Buena fe. Impeded by Revilla, he wanted to travel. He wanted to travel or the charge. Because he saw the cross court pass coming. Interestingly, as you look at this nice defensive sequence here, blocked by Torres there. Sonomen shot blocker. Sonomen with 50% more lasting protection. Spray on the confidence. And Sonomen yung takas ni Revilla. Crossover move. And then the fake, the show and go by LA. Clear men high performance drive. Clear men deep cleanse with activated carbon. Deep cleanse for zero dandruff. It's so tough to defend when he's high up. Norbert thought is really his outstretched arms. That's the most he could do. That's yep. yung pag naka hook shot formation na ito, or yung form hook shot na si Slaughter. Given that space, it's really hard to get a hand up there. Mendoza fades away. Salva just standing his ground on defense. Interesting, Kanina, we were mentioning the South dictating the matchups in the big men. Ateneo are the ones dictating the guards. Can you like two guards combo sila? That's a foul. That's in the ng lasal. Oh, you have Revilla and Vosotros on the floor at the same time. Ball of Asia Arena is packed today with 17,380 uh, fans from both schools. And a lot of them were not from the schools who just want to be yep. part, love to be part of the atmosphere and of watching this game. 84% shooting from uh, the line for Kiefer Ravenna. He misses his first attempt. The lead is six. Highest was 16 para dun sa mga kaka tune in lang dito sa Studio 23. Back to seven. Masal can cannot let Ateneo get ahead of steam here in the fourth. Exactly. They can't relax here. They can't let Ateneo pull away with momentum here and they'll have to be left with a little late end game to try to catch up. Oh! Tumama sa ating sistak ng bola. So, Masal will have nine to shoot. Let's look at that error, or not an error, the McDonald's replay. Catching it over well your senses with the new McDonald's big and tasty dial H6236 for Mac delivery. That is an error, a giveaway. Travel there. Janang Gigil. Come see Norbert Torres before he put the ball on the floor. He lifted his foot. 6.05 to play. Jaron Teng is back. Van Opsel is there. One on one. Van Opsel. Late double. Oh, the up and under move. Well, interestingly enough. When we started this game, Slaughter struggling talaga kasi di na double team ng maaga ng Lasal. We haven't seen them double team him in a while. And now that he's waxing up, now that he's getting his moves, and now that he's getting his rhythm offensively. But the lead is back up to 9, 62-53. Tank couldn't handle the pass. Benino Gonzaga gets that hot potato back. Coach Norman hollering at Keith Ravenna. Revilla trying to bother Ravenna's dribble. 10 on the shot clock. Screen provided by Salva. Ravenna steps back. Pinigyan on Spasho. Tank with a rebound. Approaching the halfway point of our fourth quarter. Tank who knocked down a big three earlier against Buena Fe. Has eight seconds on the shot clock. Torres. Still cannot get that mid-range jumper to go and a foul ball. Nico Salva trying to box out Arnold Van Opstel. Let's 
Ravenna to Slaughter for a perfect combination. Pure food standard juicy chicken cheese, hot dog, Slaughter. 50% from the floor today, 7 of 14. 18 points, 7 rebounds. The lead is 9 for the defending champions. At the Mall of Asia Arena. His team is down by 9. We enter the 4th, down sila ng 3. 3 down, yeah. 53 to 50. Another turnover, another giveaway. Three on two on the other end. As you look at the field goals in the paint. Look at that. 30, 20 for 36 for Ateneo. And the perimeter points, the perimeter shots. Two of 24 only for Ateneo. But they're still enjoying this nine point lead. A completed takeaway. Four on one on the other end. Tang gives it up to Norbert Torres. Uy, wala pa rin! challenge that I guess that Nico Salva who did not allow that layup easily. It was a virtual four-on-one. It was. And Nico Salvo just held his ground and used his leaping uh, ability to time it well enough to still force Torres to the horrible missed layup. An expensive error may be at the 417 mark of this game. Turnover department, De La Salle, apat na dito sa ating fourth quarter, isa para sa Ateneo. And it was interesting that it was Tang who's leading the break. He, he could have finished that, but he listened to his veteran point guard. Javilia pointed to Torres said, give it to Torres. He's the bigger guy. And a foul again. This time on Luigi De La Paz. As Jet Manguera is now coming back in. 4.04 remaining. Joshua Webb, who had made a brief appearance earlier. Lasalle is shooting one out of seven here in the fourth. Did a 9-3 run by Ateneo in the last almost six minutes. Mangera on Ravenna. Ravilla working hard. Two on the shot clock. Salva puts it up. Voila! Mangera climbs the, climbs the ladder for that one. Teng spins. Avilia picks it up, tracks it down with 16 to shoot. Gonzaga on him. The pick provided by Torres. Avilia back to Norbert. Norbert underneath. Nice Wala pa rin! Oh, and Norbert Torres finally cleans up the glass. A good execution there for Lasalle with a nice pick and roll and an extra pass by Torres to Andrada. But lucky for them, even if Andrada missed, Torres did not give up on the play. Seven point lead. Double team automatic now on Slaughter. Oh, and great, great steal by Yu Tien. Waits for his point guard. Inside to Teng, almost a turnover. Revilla free for a three. Voila, he picks it up. Revilla underneath to Teng. Perfect setup job by Revilla. Not only with the scoop pass, but also with the screen. Giving Teng that open lane for the layup. Only down by five now. DJ, where would Lasalle be without Revilla here in this game? They'd be down huge today. They'd be down big by now at these double digits. What a game by LA. Slaughter. Ang ganda nung habol sana ni Andrada sa likod. Kaya lang, a little bit too aggressive. As Slaughter and Revilla had some words to say to each other. The big man and the small man from Lasalle. Here's that Teng conversion after LA Revilla. Here, LA continues, continues to talk to Slaughter. <laughs> but look at this adjustment by Coach Roland Black. Uh -huh. The last play, he saw a quick double team by Andrada, which forced a steal. Now he goes high low. He puts Nico Salva far out. So, Lion and Tatak Boheni Andrada before he can help down into Slaughter. <laughs> I'm just entertained with this back and forth from Slaughter and Revilla. You saw like a PS... Yeah, yeah. It's a PS back pass and assist, by the way, is what you saw. It's a tulog lang, may kotse ka now with PS back auto loan with Prime. Rebate. Two for two. For Greg Slaughter. Six for six from the line. For Slaughter today for 20 points for him. He leads them. And it's the small man from La Salle who leads the other team. Manguera oh, gets it to go. That was not an easy three at all in the face of Keith Ravenna as well. Abig mga sa'yo, yan yung pinapractice niya kanina two hours before the game. Brings them down to within seven. Back in a moment. The attendance for today and going back to the score earlier again, that's 64-60 after the three by Jed Manguera, which was set up by this pass by L.A. Revilla. That was just a gutsy shot by Manguera there. 
even though Ravenna was closing out on him, challenging that three. Another great three from Great Taste 3 and 1. Ateneo has not scored from downtown, by the way. You're not often going to get the benefit of the doubt if you swipe the ball down low. Mm. Na hindi malinis na malinis. Gretchen Ho in attendance here from the ladies volleyball team. And that's Robbie Domingo as well. Yep. The one with his back turned to us there from the Pinoy Big Brother house. Well, the host of PBB mm -hmm. Team Edition. So, nandito siya, nandito si Bianca. Yeah, we, uh, we saw uh, a couple of volleyball players from Ateneo also here. In the meantime, 66-60 is our score. As we get to our PS Bank, last two minutes, isang tulog lang, may kotse ka with PS Bank Auto Loan with Prime Rebate. Deng with a drive. Ouch! Ooh, strong drive, hard collision as well between him and Gonzaga. Like two muscular kids. They're built like rocks, these two guys. <laughs> Here's that setup again by Revilla. Jaron Deng invites the contact from Torino Gonzaga. And we'll shoot two free throws for LaSalle to try to cut into the 66-60 lead. Only a two-possession game. Although it is six points, but you hit two three-pointers, you could tie this game up. So it's considered a two-possession game. Long way to go. The rookie being tested on the free throw line now. Oh, you said it. Jaron Teng coming into this fourth game of the season averaging a shade above 52 percent and right right there in his average as LaSalle is shooting 15 of 20 from the free throw way better than yep. their performance yeah, the last definitely. time out that's 75 percent considering last game around they were in the 60s again two possession game on get a shadowing Ravenna 10 on the shot clock of Ateneo Wami Chongson, what's he gonna do? The show by Andrada. Chongson back to his left. Chongson forces that one. Offensive rebound by Tonino Gonzaga. And the rookie fell asleep there. That was Tang's man. Tang was left on the weak side watching that play. He didn't see his man slip behind him from the baseline and grab that offensive rebound. Too many opportunities being given to Ateneo here. Manguera to Ravenna. Salva, that's a traveling infraction call. Oh, similar to Norbert Torres earlier. Same kind of traveling infraction. But they burned a lot of time on that clock, boom. That was virtually two possessions, so the, down to 108 to go in the game. 66, 61. Ateneo and LaSalle drag themselves into the deep waters of this game. Manguera takes off the mask, yeah. TJ. He's pretty really bothered already with all the sweat by this time. Remember, he has a fractured septum. That's what he says as Revilla throws up the three. Lumabaspa, tapik ng bola. Deng saves it to the wrong man. Gonzaga to Chongson. Chongson, no! We'll get two free throws here. Breaks of the game. Deng had the save. Didn't realize how near Ele Revilla was to the sideline. Manguera with a hard foul on Chongson, trying to prevent any kind of three-point play opportunity. And Chongson now visit the free throw line. Where and he's feeling the pressure. I was just about to say, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. so just for the okay, record. It's not your fault. Not yeah. He was four out of four before <laughs> that trip. <laughs> 67 61. We are back with more of the UAP on Studio 23. We're back for more of Ateneo versus LaSalle. Here's a Del Monte fit and right step up play of the game. It's time to step up with the new fit and right orange. Greg Slaughter with 20 huge points. Nine rebounds in this game. And 12 points from the Ateneo front court in this fourth quarter Only alone. in this fourth quarter. Yep. And remember that you saw the last replay. That was one of the layups or hook shots that Slaughter made. Now, walang double team. It, I found it really odd that biglang kinalimutan ng Lasal yung double teaming nila on Red Slaughter. And another wow. rookie error here. Jerome Tang called for the five-second inbound violation. That is off a timeout, yep. DJ. Kaya mas masakit para kay Coach Gia Manila yun. And now a foul will be given up. 
with 43 seconds remaining. La Sala shot four of 13 here in the fourth quarter. Ateneo four of nine, but they have shot eight free throws as Teng and Revilla talk in the middle, trying to reanalyze that last what happened. Last and the, the last thing you want to do is hold on to the ball. But alam gipit ni oras, throw it up near your basket. So kahit maagaw man yan, you can still get back down the defense, but at least you have a chance for a teammate to tap it and get that ball. Ah, Ravenna has missed a couple of free throws here. Sorry, TJ. Yeah, yes. you, you know, so, you know, don't waste it by hanging on for five seconds. Ravenna for the second free throw is good. So now, it is a three possession game with that one free throw, TJ. 68, 61. Cavilia looking for a screen. Asal doesn't have the luxury of time. Deng to De La Paz, free for a three. Voila. Salva with a retrieval. And a foul given up by Luigi De La Paz. And Ateneo side starting to celebrate here. Well, they did what they could in terms of looking patiently for an open shot. Moving the ball around the perimeter, weaving it around, and they got one of their better three-point shooters, De La Paz. A good, wide-open look. He just hasn't gotten his rhythm today. He hasn't shot much today. He hasn't played much today, actually. You saw the majority of the time for the off guards going to guys like Manguera and even times when they played a two-point guard rotation with uh, Bosotros even. Two teams that come into this game at two and one. Tied with USD after the win earlier over National U coming from behind. Uh, Nico Salva looking to put the nail on the coffin. 69 61, 26 seconds. And a miscue from La Salle to add insult to injury. And Salva will finish up with 16 points. Revilla, what a gutsy performance by this kid, yep. regardless of the outcome, with a bum ankle to boot. Missing that last game, you know, not getting the rhythm of continuous play. But nonetheless, he led his team to the best that he could, but just falling short here in the fourth quarter. They were in it till about the last, I'd say, three or and a half minutes. But Ateneo's experience pulled them through. Biggest lead of the game was 16, and then there were a few lead changes in the middle of this game. Ateneo prevailing, though Coach Norman Black getting his 98, 97 win of his UAAP coaching career. He goes to 97, 26, or do I? 98 to 26. We'll take a break. We'll be back to wrap this baby up.